Hello everyone. This is just going to be a quick video where I'm going to talk about an article that I saw recently that I thought was kind of funny. Uh, not ha-ha funny, but sort of just interesting, uh, given that I'm reading Atlas Shrugged at the moment, and I noticed some Atlas Shrugged style themes in this article. Uh, some of you might have listened to the podcast or the, watched the video with Jordan Peterson and Steven Pinker, and they briefly mentioned uh, Norman Borlaug. He bred high-yield crops that were um, that averted famine in, uh, in India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. And he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970. And I had never heard of him before, or don't don't recall ever hearing of him before listening to that podcast. So I thought I'd look him up since he sounded like an interesting character. And one of the first articles that came up after the Wikipedia entry and a few um, standard things like that is this article in The Guardian called Norman Borlaug, Humanitarian Hero or Menace to Society, uh, which just sounded too interesting to pass up. So whoever made that clickbait title uh, should get a promotion. I'm just going to review it here. I read the whole thing, but I'm not going to read it all to you now. I just wanted to highlight a few points. It's it's formatted in a way as as if to uh, give both sides of the argument. It's sort of got it's got a it's attempting to be unbiased and present. Uh, this is what uh, this is what supporters of Norman Borlaug say, and this is what his uh, critics say about him. And it seems to me maybe I'm just biased, but it seems to me that they were quite heavy-handed with the criticism and not not so. Uh, not so heavy-handed with his, uh, what people who like him say, but anyway, they, they first go into how uh, the praise that he gets, saving, uh, saved up to a billion lives, death by starvation, uh, scientific revolution in agriculture, uh, human peace in progress, so it's just some quotes about him without going into any detail, just a sort of book review. And then it goes into some reasons why people uh, think he's a... <laughs> Uh, a menace to society, although nobody actually says that. Uh, but they they talk about how the the new plants that he introduced, the new crops, uh, the new seeds that he was selling, uh, destabilized some um, the economy of India and Pakistan, and how farmers couldn't afford to uh, to spend their money on the expensive fertilizer and the extra water that the crops needed. By the way, I don't know if the crops needed more water. They don't say if it's per acre or per calorie of of crop that's grown because it's per acre then that's just meaningless because you're growing more so of course it's going to use more water anyway they 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 talk about how it's possible someone even said that he could be responsible for millions of deaths aside from kissinger probably the biggest killer of all to have got the peace prize was norman bollog whose green revolution wheat strains led to the deaths of peasants by the million uh, i don't know if i don't know exactly what that is referring to, but I think that if the deaths of those peasants by the million, if those peasants were part of the up to a billion people that he saved from starvation, then I think it's better that he saved those people from starvation and then perhaps some of them were uh, died later, although I, I don't even know if that's true or what that's, what that's based on. But anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's all pretty interesting. I don't know what to think of this uh, Borlaug character. It sounds like he's a good guy, but I'd, I'm not very educated on the subject. But what I really want to talk about in this video is this, is this last line here, where they sort of sum up the article before going into a, a, a silly poem. Borlaug's critics argue equally strongly that the long-term profits of his work have been reaped mainly by large companies at the expense of small farmers. <laughs> And that just, while reading Atlas Shrugged, that, that, that really made me laugh, the fact that these, these critics, uh, you know, maybe he saved a billion people from starvation, but who did he really profit? Was it, was it the, the farmers whose, whose lives were saved, or was it the, was it the businessman in his suit and tie se selling crops to these poor people? Was he the one who was really making money on this? I just, it's funny to me that they... Making money is always, it's always seen as a bad thing. People think that if you're making money from something, it means you can't be doing a good thing, which is the, that's what the villains of Atlas Shrugged say, which is, of course, the polar opposite to objectivism and uh, Ayn Rand's philosophy, which is that making money is probably a good indicator that you are doing something good, unless you're getting that money by lobbying the government. I just... The fact that they included this line about how it was the businesses that made money and not the small farmers 
it just undermined the entire article that they would even that they would even include that argument. It's so it's just not a very good argument in my opinion. And I, uh, although I'm not a an objectivist by any means, I'm not. I might even stop reading Alice Shrugged because I'm kind of getting tired of reading it. And um, I'm no. I'm no huge supporter of Ayn Rand, but when I see things like this, it just makes me think maybe she was right in some, you know, maybe these people really do hate, you know, really do hate these, these, these visionaries, these innovators who've improved the lives of so many, but if they make money from doing it, then, uh, then they're a bad person. I just, I know that's, that's a bit of a simplification of what this argument actually says, but that's the philosophy that I'm detecting underneath this sort of criticism, although th maybe I'm being paranoid, but again, there might be some very good reasons not to celebrate Norman Borlaug. I'm not saying that he's great and above criticism. I don't really know anything about him. I just thought this article was uh, kind of funny, and for those of you who've read Atlas Shrugged, maybe you can get a kick out of this as well. As always, I'll leave a link to this article in the description. You can have a look at it yourself. If you know more about Norman Borlaug than I do, then um, please let me know what I'm missing about him in the in the comment section, I'd love to learn more about this guy. It's certainly an interesting topic that I'd like to know more about. Or if you uh, hate Atlas Shrugged or you just want to say anything about this video, then please leave your comments below and try to be civil. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.